Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am joined by the COO of Envision Utah, Ari Bruning, to discuss a very important survey and involvement that Summit County residents need to get involved in and participate in. Welcome to the show, Ari. How are you this morning? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Excellent. How was your drive up? It was pretty nice. Oh, it was a great drive this morning. Beautiful day. I'm liking it. These mornings are just yeah. spectacular. But we are here because there's some very important things that Envision Utah has in the works, and they need our help in making that happen. So first, let's kind of set the stage for what is Envision Utah for those people unfamiliar with what you guys do. Right. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a partnership of uh, government, business, and citizens. And, and uh, what we do is we help people look to the future as we continue to grow to make sure we have a high quality of life for the future. And a couple of weeks ago you came out with a survey to kind of help plan for the future of Utah covering a, a vast array of, of areas and like I mentioned uh, Summit County a little lacking in that and obviously we want a voice from everyone throughout Utah. So first off let's talk about this survey and what does it involve and what are your hopes for it? Well, if you go to envisionutah.org, you'll find uh, five different choices for the future scenarios for what the year 2050 could look like in Utah as we almost double in population and deals with topics like uh, water, where would the water come from for a doubling in population? What, what will our education system look like? Will we be able to afford to live here for housing and cost of living? And we're looking for 50,000 Utahns to weigh in. And uh, we're about a third of the way to that goal. And but so far, uh, Summit County has been underrepresented. So uh, less than 1% of Summit County residents have weighed in so far. Which, as we were talking earlier with uh, Joe, my co-host, we, we thought that was kind of odd because I feel like Park City, or most communities in Utah are very active and, and want to you know, have a voice in that process. They care very much about Utah's future. So I thought that was interesting that that was the case. But indeed it is. How do we go about taking this survey. Just go, go to envisionutah.org. So and you'll, the website up right yeah, now. You can see the website right there and uh, you'll see some of the issues there. Um, and, and like I said, there are five different scenarios you can choose among and you can uh, favor which scenario you like for the different topics that are included. Let's talk for a moment about some of those issues specifically facing Summit County when it comes to growth. Yeah, well, Summit County actually is projected to grow faster than mm -hmm. the rest of the state. So the state's going to double in population, and Summit County is projected to triple in population. And, and then, of course, that having an impact on water resources. Yeah, that has an impact housing. on water resources, housing, the ability to get around, transportation, sure. and so forth. Excellent. And then uh, recreation as well. A lot of things that you certainly would, would want to have a voice on that, uh, right. whether you're a longtime resident of the area or you know just moving in. These are very important things to discuss. So when we take the survey, apparently there's a, a donation that can be made. How does that work and who does it go to? Yeah, so after you take the survey, there's a little demographics page and you can choose a school that you want a donation to go nice. to and, and a dollar will go to that school's fund. Ah, that's fantastic. I love that. So we have an event called Writing with Ed coming up pretty soon that helps support Park City education. Great, yeah. So you chose a good time to come up here because people are already thinking about things. Well, like yeah. <laughs> I like it. And then. Uh, Last of all, do you have any thoughts on um, things in relation to why people need to care about this? I know we just briefly kind of went over why people should find this important, but from your perspective with what you're seeing in the development, I mean, you're the one that knows the numbers, you know the graphs, you know what's really going on. What do you wish people truly understood when it comes to Utah's future? Well, there, there are real important choices that we, we face, and what Utahns tell us that they want to do is actually going to impact the future. Mm -hmm. you know, things like um, for where the water comes from, do you, do you want to have a yard that has almost no grass, or would you rather take the water from mm -hmm. another place like agriculture? And These are hard choices, and, and we want to know what Utahns think, and that, that actually will guide the future. And before I let you go this morning, of course, there's the survey that you can go online and do. But give us a, a brief idea of some of the other things that Envision Utah has been involved in. Well, well over the years, um, the, well, we did a visioning effort in the late 90s for the greater Wasatch area. Mm -hmm. And that set the stage for a lot of the great things that have happened around here, that, like Tracks and Front Runner came out of that. Um, um, we've actually been, as we've grown and developed, we've actually used less farmland than we were projected to. So there's, there are more farms today than there used to be. Um, the Jordan River Trail, uh, connecting that through uh, throughout Salt Lake County, that came out of a visioning process we did, and so on. So mm -hmm. th these efforts actually have real results. 
Very good, and glad to hear about that. I was actually unaware of that, that earlier involvement that you guys had, so that is just phenomenal. And if you guys want to get involved in what they're doing and find out more, we can go online, as you just saw there, the website was up, and then, of course, go on and take the survey, because they want to hear from you. They need to hear from, from all of us, you know, to find out more of, of those steps to take that work best with our community. So thank you so much. Thank Ari, you. Pleasure to have you here this morning. Thanks for your time. And uh, anything else to add about Envision Utah before I let you go? Well, one other, one other thing I'd say is of the of the votes that we've had so far, about 70% have been from Salt Lake and Utah counties. And, so? and I, I don't think Park City and Summit County residents want Salt Lake and Utah I've counties to choose their future. In mind, so, I'm yeah, sure. So yeah. yeah, keep that in mind. Come on, guys, beat Salt Lake and, and Utah and that's counties. Right. <laughs> Get on there. Thank you so much. Nice Thank to you. have you here. Ari Bruning, the COO of Envision Utah. We'll be right back after the break. It's about 31 minutes after the hour. When we do, we have much more to share with you.